Hello my friends and welcome back to another commentary. Today I'm going to be bringing you Napoleon Total War and it's on the map Province Salamanca and on medium funds I think. It's going to be a match between Prussia and Spain. I'm going to be playing on the Prussian side. My army consists of two units of cavalry, on my right flank hussars, on my left flank uh, lancers. Then two units of Prussian fusiliers, three units of musketeers and my general. My opponent has chosen to bring three units of fusiliers at his core, one unit as province militia on each flank, one light infantry, one unit of hussars, his general and one nine pound foot artillery. Um, to this map, I really like this map because it has some variety to all the other map maps in the Napoleon Total War map pool, because it's not a city battle, nor is uh, it is a field battle like all the other maps it's both because you, if you choose to position yourself over here or over here you have a field battle but you always have the strategic advantage of, or the strategic possibilities of a city if you just position your troops in here so i really really like that because it allows for some um, awesome street fights here in the middle while the cavalry can come around the flanks and clean up artillery or such things and yeah, that is one of the things I don't like about neither Napoleon nor Empire, and I think it's a big mistake. That artillery is... or has unlimited ammo. And now we are going to see a nice shot of this cannons here. Yeah, you see? He starts shooting and kills immediately two of his men, so I really like that. Let's go normal now. But yeah. The rules for this game were... No, no more than two cavalry units and not more than one artillery units because I didn't want him to just position himself here, camp and then just shoot me, shoot me to pieces. So he respected that because I already had it like a set, like no artillery or something like this. Sorry about that, it's in German, I'm going to change that and it just said that he's going to, or that he took that house. And as I was saying, it already happened to me that my opponent, I said no artillery and he brought like, I don't know, 6-7 units of it, so that was quite annoying. And yeah, here as you can see, I position myself in the streets, I want to do a flanking maneuver here, my musketeer is there, my fusilier is here, so when he comes I can do some cross-firing. He wants to prevent that, I don't know what he tried to achieve with that, I mean, if I would not have formed into a square like this, he could have cleaned up both of these units, so... That would have been great, but that's not that great for him now. I did lose quite a substantial amount of units already. I mean, he already tried 13 men, and I killed 15, or oh, actually 13 of his. Two got killed by the cannons. But yeah, his cavalry is gone now. I lost 15 men here, and it, the two men lost here are inflicted by the cannons. I'm moving with my cavalry head on each side one unit and it's on each flank here one unit of fusiliers and then followed by musketeers only here in the mid center it's like only musketeers because I can't use the range advantage here as the houses are very close and if he comes in here I can just shoot him straight away but he just uh, chooses to stand here and not go anywhere and I don't really know why he went with two units into this building here. I mean, his fusiliers have on the field the, the range advantage, as well as accuracy advantage over my musketeers at least. Um, I think I have the hi higher reload speed, but I'm not sure about that. And I'm, I'm superior in morale and close combat. But this is why I didn't understand really why two units of in this. He could have put the province, uh, the province militia in there, because this would have totally prevented me from flanking him with cavalry or such. Because they would could have constantly shot at me while I couldn't do anything against them. And also, he doesn't have any cav anti-cavalry units apart from, yeah, his cavalry that already routed, because none of his units can actually form a square. Yeah, here I move forwards in the forest over there. He sees that and gives the attack orders with his light infantry as well as general. Here I move forwards and he is using this light infantry to attack them. Here I move forwards and yeah, get the first volley off. Let's make this in slow motion. 
Here I decided to engage because it's only Province Militia. They, I have higher range and higher accuracy so I can take them out. But it's going to be accompanied by Fusiliers but they are behind him. Meaning if they start shooting, they shoot their own men in the back. Meaning a better fight for me. And yeah, here I wasn't really sure what to do. Now I decide to attack his general because if he could, if he would have continued attacking me, that would have been great for me. But unfortunately not. Now his light infantry starts firing. I lose five men. So not the worst, but could have been much better if I would have been more careful. Uh, here you can see, yeah, my guys are fleeing. I got a volley of the light infantry here. Then they got yeah the cannons faced them. They got the cannon roll right through it. So half strength on that half strength they're free. Here, let's see. They they didn't reload yet. So I decided to charge in with my lances because this is quite a juicy, a juicy target. And with the downhill charge, it's going to be quite a lovely one. Yeah. With the charge alone, a le a 15 killed and Red Morale, and yeah, they're going to be fleeing. This general is not even close to support them. Yeah, he still is firing at these cavalry units here. Straight into this, so that's good for me. Here, the province militia is at half strength, but Green Morale, because the general is here. The general is under attack because of this firing, is just some bullets that went off target. Uh, here his general is already nine, uh, lost already three men just by walking past here and my fusilier is shooting at him. He's marching forwards with this unit so I decide to pull a bit back. I don't have the best cover here but I have a couple of trees, the trees here and the houses so it's not the worst. There my hussars came back and here my lancers decided to attack the cavalry but then move around and attack his general. He already lost another six men just because of the charge. I lost three, four men, so not too bad. And uh, his general is routing, but this is his general now. And the, his unit's morale is everywhere still in the green area. Only the orange and orange. And now the general is killed. Red, red. Two times orange. I'm going to attack this artillery position and kill it off. Here we can see my lovely volley yeah I shoot straight into these guys because they formed the square I don't know why because he was probably scared that my cavalry would attack him from the back but I don't even need that support I lost 10 men with my fusiliers here but they took care of two units that's great my musketeers I oh know my yeah fusiliers lost 10 my musketeers lost 19 so that's not okay that was mostly because of the hussars that attacked them this unit is routing now as well, it lost only 7 men, so it was quite lucky for me. And the only units here that are left are two fusiliers in this building here. These units are going to come back, but going to have no impact. I decided let's shoot him out of there, because I have so many units, and I didn't want to send my fusiliers into close combat. But as you will see, my musketeers will take care of this, and... I didn't really think of anything of that in the beginning, but if you just look at this house, the windows are small and the accuracy of the muskets are useless, so I'm going to be shooting and shooting and shooting and nothing is going to come of it. I mean, look, two units full strength, this volley went and this volley is going to go in, and I think I'm going to, yeah, one man, two volleys. It's going to take some time. Here, his unit has reformed, but they didn't. He didn't realize this and didn't do anything, so my cavalry is going to come in now and cleaning this up. Unfortunately, my hussars got the charge. If their lance would have done, would have gotten it, that would have been much more devastating. But uh, this unit didn't fire anymore at me, so I was quite happy about that. And you can see one loss, one zero losses. I meant sorry, and one loss. So that's not going anywhere. Let's just fast forward again. And I think it's here that I'm going to decide. Yeah, shot with one volley, two down, two down, so four men killed already. That's quite an achievement. And now I decide, guys, just just run into that and kill them off, because this is not going anywhere. Here you can see me. 
entering and all these masses here. Even though I have musketeers that are superior, quite a lot superior and the close combat the proper than these fusilists, the bar is still in his advantage with about two third. But well, overall, I'm going to win that. And now I have two units in here. And the only thing this boss representing, I think, at the moment is the numerical advantage, which is nearly even at the moment. But now I'm winning because I, ke I uh, get constantly killed on uh, his unit. It's 15 men killed there, 18 killed there, so not too bad. I just I switch off friendly, uh, not friendly fire. I want to stop the friendly fire of my units, so I s I'll give them the order to stop shooting. And let's see if we can get in here and see maybe some fight. It's a bit loud about that here, so I'm a bit sorry about that. But as you can see, I my must just go in. these guys and here you can see one unit is killed and they're just oh no it's not killed yet sorry I don't have a fuck to what they're doing on their own surface but yep the bar's in my favor now by 75% so good news yeah one unit flees now and the other one is 60 men left but it's yeah, still fleeing but getting rapidly killed. So yeah, I got this house now and this means the battle is won. I also like this about Napoleon Total because it gives you the small notifications and also you can zoom where, ha where something happened. Let's just have a quick look here. He had the numerical advantage just for the simple fact I choose the one cavalry unit while he got the national militia. I lost 128 and but and he only killed 112 meaning i got like the 16 friendly fire kills i killed 300 he lost 337 meaning he did 20 friendly fire kills this is what i meant on this position here with the fusiliers behind the national militia they just shot them in the back and yeah let's have a look yeah here are the fusiliers that were probably the units standing here they got the 90 kills and then all well, my other units did okay I mean I didn't lose any so quite happy about that and I hope you like this video if you want to play with me from time to time just uh, enter the steam group link in the description or just add me up I would love to play with you guys from time to time so I hope you like this video and see you later